Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my two minute entertainment rundown for today is a review of the series Last Tango in Halifax and also the movie Redemption Day. Now, Last Tango in Halifax, the big news about this series is on Netflix and it is the new season. I mean, we've had other seasons up to this point some say it would be four previous seasons. Others would say it's only been three previous seasons. That's because they had a two-episode arc of Christmas time, you know, of the story. Some included that with the third season. Others said, no, that was an individual four season. Whatever. The new season is only four episodes long, but it takes up the story of the elderly couple who had been high school sweethearts, uh, then broke up, married other people, both lost their spouses, and then they romantically reunited, remarried, and they're played by Ann Reed and Derek Jacoby, and they are so good, and they merge two families like the Brady Bunch, and these are two totally dysfunctional families. I love this show, though. I loved everything about it. I want there to be another season, but I think this may be the last season. I uh, found that the, the film, the series has profanity and some sexual situations. I scored it 8 out of 10. It's one of my favorite series. So go to Netflix if you've been watching or watched the whole thing at one time. Last Tango in Halifax. Then we have the film Redemption Day. This is the story of a man whose wife is kidnapped over in uh, Algeria. Uh, he is working with the government trying to get her back. Uh, it's exciting. It seems to me a little drawn out, uh, but it does have the excitement of him trying to rescue his wife. The, the main lead is played by Gary Dorden, D-O-U-R-D-A-N, Dorden, and his wife is played by Sarinda Swan. But the big thing about this series, this movie is that there are so many little cameos. You've got Andy Garcia, Martin Donovan, and Robert Nepper. And the film even kind of sets up a sequel at the end. I don't think they're going to get a sequel because it's just not that compelling. But it's rated R for profanity and violence. I scored it 5 out of 10. It's just right across the board. It's got enough excitement to keep you watching, but it's not one that you said, oh, this is something really good that I'm watching. So... For my two-minute entertainment rundown, reviews of Last Time Going Halifax gets an eight, Redemption Day gets a five. Thank you for viewing.